we were doing something that uh, nobody else had ever done before, obviously. Uh, was working with a, a brilliant team of uh, oh, maybe 400 engineers at MIT. And, you know, when I started, I was at the bottom of the totem pole, <laughs> you know, a uh, student, you know, intern as a sophomore. Uh, so everybody seemed to me to be really, really smart. Innovation was, uh, you know, it was basically pencil and paper when you were trying to, uh, you know, solve technical problems uh, and design equipment. Uh, you know, the only thing that we really had <laughs> was pencil and paper and slide rules. Personal computers did not exist. Uh, there were huge mainframe computers uh, that IBM and a couple of other companies had developed, and MIT had one, <laughs> and uh, it was pretty hard to get a, you know, get, get to use that. Uh, so everything that we did was pencil and paper, and the testing part of that, that that's kind of interesting in that uh, we built hardware to test it. That was really before we spent uh, a lot of time simulating what the hardware should do. Uh, Again, we didn't have the computer tools at the beginning to uh, do simulations of systems, see how it would work, different configurations and so forth. It was all, uh, you know, pencil and paper, and then, you know, the, the proof of the pudding was to build some prototype hardware and see what the heck happened. And Apollo was uh, really a uh, one of the instigators of this was that uh, simulation became the real design tool for engineers. You know, you, with a uh, digital simulation, you could uh, uh, vary the parameters of the system design that you were using and, uh, you know, very rapidly hone on something that, uh, you know, seemed to work in this in the simulation. Uh, now, we, we started in, to get into that during the Apollo program. By the, by the time we landed on the moon, uh, we had built a, a complete simulation of the whole process <laughs> of the, the, the guidance computer, the inertial guidance system, uh, and we knew how to simulate all that stuff in, a main, in the mainframe digital computer type uh, world. Uh, so those are, those are the large scale simulations that we did. And but nowadays, uh, you know, you can a personal computer, you can do the same kind of stuff. Uh, more rapidly than we ever uh, ever thought of uh, being able to do way, way back then.